I literally never do these kind of videos, but I'm so tired of giving up kick returns for touchdowns and Madden and college football that I'm lapping special teams because college football 25 revealed how truly terrible I am at special teams. And so we're going to show you today a little tip. We're going to give you two tips, maybe three tips, I guess. Uh, we're going to show you how to kind of take advantage of some cool kickoff stuff with the new kickoff system, as well as the best settings for kicking. So in your settings, what you want to have for your kicking, at least in my opinion, this is the best. You want classic Madden meter, and I prefer the tap and tap, okay, the tap and tap uh, setting here. So that's what we're rocking with. And then for kickoffs, you're just going to come out in your base kickoff. And as you see here, that we have these three options on the right side. We have placement, we have a power squib, and we have deep kick. So first thing I want to show you is if you want the most bulletproof, not going to give up a touchdown way to kick the ball, this is what I like to do. It's just the deep kick. You just hit triangle or Y before you kick the ball, and it's going to tell this tell the kicker to do a deep kick where he's going to literally just try to kick it out of the end zone. This to me is the safest because it's very hard to return this for a touchdown. Most of the time he's going to even in the game, he'll actually kick it out of the end zone and it could just basically be okay. You get the ball at whatever the yard line is, but this just makes sure that we're not going to just give you a touchdown on special teams because that literally drives me insane. Um, I feel like my defense and offense is really good. You get my full eBooks on school.com slash Cody Ballard link is going to be in the description below. But when it comes to special teams, I just don't want to give up a touchdown. So I like the deep kick. Now, if you want to get a little, little, little scummy, the placement kick, all we're going to do here is we're just aiming this. Uh, we're going to hold our left, left joystick, and we're going to aim this all the way down. Now, I like to kick this straight on, and basically we're going to instantly kind of do it like that, and we're going to try to get this ball to drop before it gets to the receiver. So sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. So you see right there, like that time it didn't work. But I showed you in replay, it does work. And when it does work, some crazy stuff can happen. It can literally open the door for, you know, recoveries. It can open the door for just uh, hit sticks. And you see there, there we get it. There you see. And then, bada bing, and we just run down, and we just try to hit stick. We just try to lay the wood. We just try to lay the wood. So that is the way that you can do this. And, again, you know, essentially what I'm trying to do is I, I think actually getting the best accuracy is really significant. Uh, if you get the best accuracy, I think it's super helpful. Even if they do return it, I have found on this on this version of the kick, because they're catching the ball so fast, there's a lot of ways to shoot the gap as well when you're running down. So I think it's the safer. I think it's it's not the safer way to kick. The safest way to kick is to do the deep the the placement stuff or the the deep kick. But when you get this, you see how I can just get one on one and lay a hit stick. So, anyways, little special teams tip: if you guys want to get better at the game, make sure you join our school community. It's where you get access to all of our eBooks. We already have eBooks on the site, and we're updating them as uh, frequently as pretty much every single day at this point. So, if you guys are not a member of our school community, you can sign up at the link in the description below.